Well, here's a question for you. Why do we like new things? Why? Why do new things get us excited? Well, every year at Christmas time, and I know this is past Christmas, but we get new Christmas ornaments. This year, huh, went to the Hallmark store. Look what we found. Baby Grogu. And he even talks. Look, he moved. He's animatronic. Wow. Why was that exciting? Because we never saw it before. It was new. It was wow. And we get excited by new things. And with the New Year's, everyone always wants to make New Year's resolutions. Well, to start off our study about being new, let's start off with what new means. New means recently made, fresh, recent, unused, unworn. And we love new things. We love the fact that this is a new year. And wow, it's new. It's 2023. It's going to be a great year. Everyone <laughs> starts out saying that. But we always have trials. When we talk about things that are new, we have to understand and know in Jesus, we are told we are made new as well. <clears throat> and this isn't the first time we've talked about this, but it's important. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, if you're walking with Jesus, you have a relationship with, with, with Jesus, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Behold, all things have passed away. All things have become new. Again, you're a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. You are made new in Christ. You may not feel new. Um, those of us who are <laughs> a little bit older, over the age of 40, maybe we're starting to feel not so new. <laughs> but that's not the way the creator of the universe looks at you. Because his spirit is in you and he's doing new things through you and in you every day. That's what's exciting in my relationship with Jesus. Old things are gone. That's the past. God looks past our past and goes, you're made new in me. I can do great things in you. Let me read this, this to you. And it's, it's important that we understand our past is in the past because people get caught up on it. Oh, I've been such a bad sinner in the past. Oh, I've done this. I've done that. You know what the Lord thinks about this? I'm going to tell you what God thinks about this. Psalms 103 verse 10 through 12 says, he, he has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. See, when we argue with God and go, I don't feel new. I'm, I'm such a, a blow at case. I'm such a sinner. And when we've received that forgiveness, the Lord said, no, you're made new. And as far as the east is from the west, that's where I've removed your transgressions, your sins. They're moved away. They're gone in the Lord's eyes. And through the blood of Jesus, we are made new. I'm glad that I have the assurance that God has made me new. Yeah, it means through Jesus, I am cleansed. Yeah, the word new means new, not old. Uh-huh, so even though you're kind of old, Vinny, uh, in Jesus, you're new in Him. Hey! Uh, yeah, okay, Stefan, thanks. <laughs> See, that reminds me, what do you call cheese that isn't yours? Huh? Nacho cheese. Ha! 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 Let's take a look at Romans chapter 8, verse 9 through 10, talking more about what it means to be made new. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. If you have Christ, the Spirit of dwell, uh, the Spirit of God has come upon you. Acts 1.8 says that. We are able to get refilled every day as we ask. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is not in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. Because of the righteousness of Christ that is given to us because of Jesus, we are transformed. We look new in God's eyes. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? As we get into this new year, despite how we feel about it, despite the trials we may have already gone through. We have that newness in Christ. That is how the Lord looks at us. 
instead of New Year's resolutions, which always cracked me up. I worked in the gym industry for years and you'd always see January filled with people uh, who were making those New Year's resolutions to get healthy and they weren't there in February, I'm telling you. <laughs> Instead of making New Year's resolutions, let's be reminded that we're new in Christ. And with that in mind, keep seeking Jesus daily. It's simple. Revelation 21 verse 5 says this, Then he who sat on the throne said, meaning Jesus, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write for these, for these words are true and faithful. We have the validity and the accuracy of God's Word to remind us that we are made new in Him, we are transformed, even when we don't feel like it, and we have the hope of looking forward to a new heavens and a new earth. Wow! <laughs> That's awesome. And now it's time to dig deeper with Dudley. You know, when I get a new tool, uh, it's for a new purpose. Yeah, that tool is uh, brand new and has a brand new purpose for me to use on my uh, my projects. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it's the same thing with us. God daily has new purposes for us as well. Oh, well, that's good to know, Dudley, because I got this new bunny. Oh, and I don't think he likes me very much. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, Dudley, the new money. Oh, I can't get off. I can't get off. Oh, oh, it was fighting me. It was me. Oh, oh. Uh, oops. Uh, I'll be right there, uh, Barry. <laughs> Always remember, when you dig down deep, you got to hit rock. Uh, Jesus is our rock. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, let's pray. Lord, thank you for reminding us how we are made new in you. And Lord, uh, as you promise to make us new, help us to seek you daily. And in seeking you daily, to serve you daily, Lord. I pray you bless this new year and direct and guide our steps. In your name, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Yeah.